ocular surface disease. This term gets thrown out a ton, but what are we actually talking about? Let me break it down for you. When you're doing research on your eye, you're gonna invariably come across the term ocular surface disease. This is referring to anything that affects the front of your eye, water eyes, itchy eyes, things that affect your cornea. If your lids and lashes are affected, you're most likely gonna have some form of ocular surface disease. It's the front of your eye that's not functioning the proper way it should. Now, the most common things I see are blepharitis, ocular rosacea, conjunctivitis, and dry eye disease. All these things affect your ocular surface. They affect the front of your eye. Now, this is just a small list, but believe it or not, ocular surface disease affects people of all ages. Leave a comment below if you've been affected by ocular surface disease. Now, why are people of all ages experiencing OSD? The reason for that is the environment, cosmetics, staring at screens, stressors like smoke, and systemic conditions such as lupus, IBS, Crohn's disease, gut health can cause inflammation that affects the front surface of your eye. And believe it or not, some of the medications that we take for depression, anxiety, ADHD, all of these things can affect the front surface of your eye. Allergy medications. Yes, the thing we take to keep our eyes from itching and being irritated can cause ocular surface disease. Now, as you can see, you've probably been affected by one or a couple of the things that I just listed. Ocular surface disease affects every single one of my patients. If they don't have the effects now, the environment is gonna cause it later. So this has become a passion of mine. I want all of my patients to have the healthiest ocular surface they can have. This will give them better vision, better overall eye comfort. The problem is, most patients are affected by this and very few doctors are treating it and treating it properly. When it comes to ocular surface disease, there's a ton of at-home therapies that you can do to treat it. There's pharmaceutical options and there's advanced in-office therapies that we can use to treat your dry eye, the irritation that you're getting from blepharitis, demodex, or ocular rosacea. I stack all these tools in my office because I know the easier access we have to it, the more likely we're gonna use that and keep our eyes healthy and strong. So if you or someone you know is affected by ocular surface disease, make sure you reach out. I have a passion to help any and all patients affected by OSD. If you need help, we can help you find the answers. The last thing I want you to do is lose hope. So if you've learned something new, if you're affected by ocular surface disease, leave a like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.